And we have uh, Nishan from Sri Lanka. Sheikh, I want to know the uh, correct definition for kufur and shirk and the difference between kufur and shirk. And uh, I know that uh, Allah will forgive whatever the sins uh, if he pleases except uh, shirk. So will he forgive a kafir? That's my question. Okay, I will answer you inshallah. Nishan from Sri Lanka was asking, what's the difference between kufr and shirk? And we know that Allah mentioned in two verses of Surah An-Nisa, chapter 4, that he forgives everything to whom he wishes except shirk. So does this mean that kufr can also be forgiven? The answer is no. See, shirk and kufr are interlinked. Every kaf, every mushrik is a kafir. But not every kafir is a mushrik. A mushrik is someone who associates others, others with Allah. So he worships, he acknowledges the existence of Allah. And he worships Allah. And someone else. Idols. People in their graves. Awliya. So he's a mushrik. A kafir is a mushrik, but he can be even worse when he says that he's an atheist or a pagan or, no, not a pagan, he's an atheist or someone who does not believe in the existence of Allah. So he's worse than a mushrik because a mushrik says, I acknowledge Allah exists, but this one says, I don't acknowledge that Allah exists at all. So the big umbrella is kufr. Underneath it, you would find someone who does not believe in the existence of Allah. You would find someone who's associating others with Allah. You would find hypocrites who claim to be Muslims, but inside they plot to destroy Islam and to at attack the Muslims. So definitely a kafir, a disbeliever, anyone who does not believe in Islam is worse than a mushrik and he would not be forgiven. And Allah Azza wa Jal knows best.